dangerous game. It's a beautiful game, but it's a dangerous game. And you're right, you look, the biggest difference when we look at this is age. <laughs> when your last name is Zoa and you started young, you might be the guy who actually has more comfort here. Agreed, it's gonna be fascinating. But over to Jesse. Ladies and gentlemen, our third amateur bout of the evening will be a lightweight competition. Three rounds of three minutes, refereed by Niels Burskin. And now for our fighters. First, fighting from the red corner, standing at 182 centimeters tall, weighing in at 70 kilos, and representing the Netherlands here tonight, it's Leo Smith! And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, standing at 183 centimeters, and weighing in at 70 kilos, Representing both the Netherlands and Angola here tonight, give it up for Carlos Sawa! Robin, what did you make of Zawa's pose there at the beginning of the cage? Sat down, arms wide. So we we hear a lot, you know, when you're from the West or from Europe, you'll hear about kids fighting in Thailand at seven and eight and nine years old. And of course, that's shocking. Here, we don't do that, but when you're fighting young, Fight. this is far less stressful for you. This is, to a normal person, this is a very stressful environment. And instead, you got an 18-year-old who wants to be here. He doesn't have to be here, he wants to be here. And to remind everyone, we have three three-minute rounds in these amateur bouts. Oh. Schmidt, is, oh, oh. Schmidt is in the red trunks, Zauer is in the blue. Oh, left hook. Oh. What was that? Left hook. So, this might not be yeah, much yeah, longer. Yeah. I mean, you got a tough guy trying to survive here, but he needs to pull the kid down or get to some kind of lock, and he does, and he's back up. Watch for the left hook again. It was a right uppercut, left hook combination, I believe, but also watch when this kid digs that shin bone into the legs on the end of a combination. Robin, do you think Schmidt is in it there? How would you, what's the look in his eyes telling you right now? He wants to be in this fight. So uh, you're not, he is not somebody who's just gonna, he's firing back now and he's checking and he goes to the body and he's trying to join his hands and get this kid to the ground. So uh, Zoa is in a very, very tough fight with a guy who is absolutely not gonna just lie down because he got hit with the left hook. What about that little reversal there? <laughs> yeah, this kid. Now he, you know, Andy was talking about his kickboxing game and growing up with that, but you also see here the game of controlling on the cage is a martial art all its own. And where his shoulder is under the chin, that's keeping the vertebrae stacked. Ideally, he'll even want to get his entire head under that chin and stack him up. But from in here, you know, it's still knees, it's still a clinch, it's still controlling, it's still familiar. You know, you got to watch the, the groin. You know, because... Uh, yeah, no, no one wants uh, any business going on, any no. bad business going on down there. So we are almost two minutes down in the first round of this amateur lightweight bout. So I don't care who wins or loses this fight. If you are Smith, you should be damn proud of getting up under that because you got dropped clean and it was swarming on you and he was able to stay calm enough to slow this fight down. Win or lose, that is a massive accomplishment that reminds Leo Smith of how good he is and how much he belongs in this fight and, and, and his fight's going forward. What's it like to come back after that fire, after being dropped and especially being dropped so fast? Yeah. Great question. It's actually hard for both guys because what Zao, oh, 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 oh. Wow. Ooh. but he ate that like a champ. Yeah, over the shoulder, and again, you got a guy keeping to go forward, so Smith be belongs in here. But yes, it's difficult for both, because what Zoa can't be thinking about is the parallel universe where this fight was over in one minute. Yeah. He's in this fight. He's not, he's, he's not, so a sidekick. You know, that, that round kick up and tucked over the shoulder, you heard the sound. And Smith's just like, hey, man, I'm in a full contact fight. I'm not shocked by this. I, I ate it, and I continued to move forward. Yeah, so what's the corners here? Well, we're coming to the end right. of the round, first round. This play is actually Leo's yeah, mental toughness. That's right. You right. know, he was dropped, and he managed to come back and continue. And we're about to enter the second round of this free round bout. Schmidt is in the red. Zoa is in the blue slash black trunks. We've had a few missed, uh, if you're our audience at home, just disregard our, our labeling for a moment. Uh, we've got a great team here. They'll make that adjustment any minute. Yeah, it looks like we're one fight ahead. So think of that as like maybe a little tasty preview <laughs> yeah, of what right. we've got That's next. Right. 
Uh, that was a little fake double kick where you, you fake to the thigh. Now, either the side kick or the hook kick, depending on which angle you're looking at that from. But, yeah, I mean, this is all part of it. You, really, this is about these fighters. And, and uh, all our team were good, hardworking, smart, talented people. We'll get all that together. So this is interesting. I've now seen Zoa throw a few of what I'd refer to as like fancier, less mm -hmm. fundamental kicks. Is he in danger here of getting ahead of himself and Whoa. thinking his fight's over? So he tucked underneath to throw left hook to the body. That's an interesting perspective. So if he was five years older and had slowly eased into fighting, he might be less comfortable throwing this. But because he's been moving his body like this since he was very young, what you want from any fighter is for them to fight authentically. Yes. Meaning fight with the honest expression of their fighting. And for a kid like this who likes to throw spin kicks and likes to throw, you know, uh, oh, Oh, he's going to invite him up. Brilliant. Oh, and he went to, to pressure him as he came up. But so if you fight, if you're an authentic, flashy kid, you want to fight authentically flashy. It's good for you. And one would assume that the time to do this are oh. in these amateur bouts. The sounds of those kicks, so viewers. Let me tell you something that we don't hear a lot. And that is none of those were blocked. Those were, you'll see the arm blocking, and sometimes we'll say, oh, he blocked the ah. kick. He didn't block the kick. He got kicked in the arms. And when the big bone of the, of the shin digs, oh, oh, man, turning the knuckles over top. When the big bone of the shin digs into the soft meat and the tissue and the thin arms of the, of the forearm and, and the wrist, it is still a, a brutal shot. It also sets up the head kick for later, and it gets him thinking about the upper body. It's almost like you get him to think he's holding pads for you, and now you kick his legs. This kid is, Carlos Zoa is super sophisticated. So we are about a minute left to go in this second round of this amateur bout. We've spoken a lot about Zoa so far, but Robin, what does Schmidt need to do here? How is he going to turn this around? So the, the first level answer is to win any fight, you have to stay in a fight. Yeah. And, he, and man, okay, many doing? people are not only okay, not in ready? this fight still, fight. but not staying focused, staying moving forward, coming in behind their own punches. But if I'm Smith, I, and he's probably having fun, which will shock you when you think about it, that there's a kid smashing up your arms like this. But he's probably enjoying himself, which is a beautiful thing. But if he wants to win the fight, you think he probably will do that better on top of this kid on the ground. And that starts by getting a hold of him and then doing the work from there. Yeah, and but what we're seeing at the minute is Schmidt is really struggling to get hold of him. Do you think he's standing too much too straight in front of Zoe here? Yeah, he, he's, he's one of these... Oh, up oh. again, right uppercut, left hook. Is this going to be it? It might be. I mean, we saw him survive Four once, seconds. but yeah, okay, once... Wow. 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 Referee wow. has pulled a stop to that bout. So Robin. you're going to see a lot of really interesting stuff when we see this replay. But whether we get it from the first round or not, it was a similar come. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called an end to this contest in the third minute of the second round, declaring your winner from the blue corner.